which we have in place. The school counselor and principal will be developing a list of support based on that plan. Um, we'll be sending a letter home to parents, meeting with staff, and providing support for grieving students. Um, we are continuing to communicate with principals with frequent updates and some um, FQAs on our website as well as the general public. Our parents and, and the community can find updates on our website. We'll be sending a Connect Ed message uh, to our Hunter parents later today or tomorrow to remind them to check for updates on the website and to review the brochure that's available there uh, with some tips for preventative measures to take to try to prevent the spread of germs. Um, and those have already been mentioned, a list of those uh, symptoms to look for and steps to take if they become ill. Um, we are following our pandemic flu plan and um, our custodians are um, following the recommended protocol for disinfecting our classrooms in a pandemic flu situation. Um, our schools have been asked to keep us informed via email on Tuesday morning uh, by mid-morning of any concerns that they have um, about the absences or whatever else, uh, whatever other concerns might arise as a result of um, this incident. Our nurses will be meeting tomorrow um, on Labor Day actually to uh, discuss ways to address issues that, that may arise um, at their schools. And um, I look forward to a possible teleconference with Commissioner Ledoux and the other superintendents around the state tomorrow to discuss uh, you know, issues that, that other districts have as well. I know we're the first to have a death, um, but I know that the illness is um, you know, involved in, in all the other districts too. And I'm available for any questions that you might have. Has it been considered yet to close any of the schools up there? So we're following our pandemic flu plan and recommendations made uh, from CDC that we will um, you know, keep schools open. Um, if it becomes a critical situation where we would have um, you know, a significant number of our staff absent um, or, you know, a significant number of students absent at any one school then would uh, consider that emergency closure. We do have a team that is working on a plan for continuity of educational services as provided for in the new emergency um, a school closure regulation that Commissioner Ledoux and the State Department issued. Uh, it became effective on September 1st. And we have a team working on that plan for that in case we have to, you know, get to that point. Dr. Wagner, it's, it's Chris Huschel, the Metromix. I would just pose the same question to you that I was um, posing to the division earlier. If you have any more information about the second student who wound up in, um, wound up in Anchorage. No, we don't. We actually learned what we know about it from the, from you know, the, the conversations with the public health um, after this incident. In, any other questions? Thank you, Dr. Wagner. Uh, any, do, we have any other, do we have any other questions for Dr. Funk or any of our other folks. Okay, thanks everyone. We'll have uh, the same folks here available for one-on-ones if you'd like them uh, in just a minute. Thank you.